Why does Ludwig not like Destiny at all? There's like um something that I notice a lot with YouTube that I I actually now now that I've been on two different platforms I notice this. Um, I've talked about this phenomenon before, that on YouTube, there's like very different crowds of people, which is cool. There's like super distinct communities that never interact with each other ever, which is really nice. Um, on Twitch, the communities are way more insulated. They're very, very insular. So like when it comes to like, quote unquote, the LSF community, everybody is like friends, like cloud sharking off each other. Like it's a huge thing. Um, so the annoying thing is that like, if you're not liked by one person, you're completely fucked in that entire community. Which is so annoying because like, I get along with so many people in that community, but there'll be like two like pussies, like Hassan and like, I'm trying to think if there's one other guy. There's one other, Hassan and like Casey Tron will like not like me and I get like, I basically have like affiliating with that community gets really, really, really difficult as a result of that. So it's just kind of annoying, but there's not like an equivalent thing to that on YouTube because there's so many different crowds of people. I'm sure within groups of people on YouTube, it can happen where like, if you don't like, like Jake Paul or something, you, I'm sure he's got like a community group. But there's like a ton of different, um, there's a ton of different communities, yeah. Do you feel like you misrepresented that cutie no situation way back? Wasn't that the initial reason why cutie dislikes you? Um, did I misrepresent that? I thought we got to the truth of that. Do you regret not getting chummy with all these streamers? I don't, I couldn't have held it for a long time. There's no way. Like there would always be like, there'd be some dramatic event or something that would come up and then everybody would hate me because I wouldn't be able to resist saying something. So <laughs> does Cutie not only like you because of the Casey Hassan stuff or is there more to it? I think it's pretty much just that. And then like Ludwig kind of is like one of those like super cloudy, like nut suckers who hopped into the whole like socialism weird shit and the Hassan shit. So like he didn't like me either. And then Cutie is obviously Ludwig's girl, whatever the fuck. Just, uh, just stupid, annoying shit. <clears throat> Twitch has bigger groups for sure. Um, it does, and like I, I think in some of the gaming communities it does, but those are a lot different than like the LSF crowd, right? I don't know if I can fucking go in here. That's why I didn't come in here before. Fuck. Do you think I can just run in and kill somebody and run out? What if I drink the salve? How much are you liked with an offline TV and what makes me different than the OTK LSF crowd? Um, I don't think I have any problems with anybody in the OTV crowd, so. But I imagine they're probably somewhat similar, where like if one person doesn't like you, you can probably get axed from that whole group too. I would imagine. Misk if someone likes Destiny, right? Yeah, I think me and Misk get along okay, I think. Do you generally hate Hassan as a person or just his persona? Um. Typically, this is online shit. It's kind of hard to hate Hassan as a person. There's not like much there to hate, I don't think. You good with Pokemon now? Yeah, I think we are. Do you get along with Maya? Um, I think so. Are you and Will Neff all right? I think so, yeah. I think we're pretty good. I think the last time we hung out, we chatted for a while. But that was a while ago, I think. You and Joe Biden okay? Yeah, we're fine. What made you dislike Ludwig as much as you do? Um, I don't really like Ludwig. I think he's, or I don't dislike Ludwig. I think he's a fine person. It was just, it irritates the fuck out of me when people are like very groupy about like who they like and don't like. And there was some time on stream where Ludwig just started like shit talking me and Melina for like no reason. And he had no reason to not like me. Like it never said anything bad about him. Um, but I could tell he was doing it because he just wanted to like suck nuts with fucking Hassan And when I see people do that shit, I lose so much respect for them immediately. It drives me fucking crazy, but <coughs> Surprised by the lack of a new Raj Royale show. Um, people don't like to fight people get really mad And you can't do those shows over long periods of time because everybody genuinely starts to hate each other It's really really hard to find people that enjoy conflict over long periods of time Okay, holy resistance potion Water-filled bottle. Morning Lily. Do you think Ludwig actually actively thinks about nut sucking or is it just how these people are with that thing? I think that generally, I think it's a pretty natural thing to be like kind of group oriented. Like when your group likes a person, you like the person. When your group hates a person, they, they um, hate a person. It's a pretty normal human thing. I can still get irritated at it though. I don't think Ludwig is like especially like a bad person or anything. It just it's just annoying, cloudy shit. I shouldn't even say cloudy shit. Annoying like social group shit. Do 
Do any Twitch streamers still reach out to you behind the scenes? Um, I think the only people that have are, I think S Fan has. He's a pretty cool dude. Slicker has. He's a cool dude. Play devil's advocate. You call them all a bunch of clingy clout sharks properly. Does not help them liking you. Um, I. It's very, very, very rare that I'll talk shit on somebody without them doing something first. I'm gonna stop letting you fucking retards gaslight me on that shit because every single time you guys have done it, you've been wrong. So I'm gonna assume that I didn't say anything bad about me or bad about him until he says something bad about me first. Um, that's usually always how those interactions go. Like one of you guys will bring up like, oh, well, Destiny said this horrible thing, blah, blah. And then I'll read it like, oh, fuck, yeah, I guess I did. That was pretty bad. And then like later on, someone will email me or message me like, yo, you realize you only said this because this guy like said he would like rape and kill your child or whatever. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I guess that's why I said it. Not that extreme, but like. Unless they do something I like genuinely disagree with, right? Um, so like, I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've like talked about people like gambling or whatever. Or like the weird like Korean girl stereotypes, like I'll say shit like that. But then in that case, I don't get mad if those people shit talk me. Like if Hot Chubby like didn't like me because of shit I've said about her stream, yeah, I can understand. I'm not gonna complain. I'd be like, oh, I can't believe Hot Chubby says something mean about me because I'm not a fucking moron. Like, yeah. The so offline TV crew pretty insulated from the Austin Hassan click. Seems like many of them don't turn, didn't turn their back on you despite Hassan Casey. Um, they're like. There's like a weird like offline TV has like its core members and then they kind of like grew out to like these like did Valkyrie join o like offline TV? The thing is is I have a couple of pretty close connections in offline TV and I don't think they would like abandon me. Hopefully like Lily wouldn't. <laughs> um, so like those connections I'll probably I would hope I would always have but oh no she's a hundred thieves. I guess maybe they just collab a lot. I don't know. There's OTV and then there's OTV and friends. Okay, I don't know what the, the difference is, but. Have you ever collaborated with Nick Merckx? I think I've been on a couple of scuff podcasts with him. That dude is really funny. Um, his views are a little fucked, but he's, he's a super funny guy. <laughs> that was cringe, but even before that, Destiny just shit talked 39 DAF for no reason. Did I really? I don't actually believe you. I just outhandedly, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with you. I, I, I doubt I did. Because 39 DAF seem like a pretty talented person who doesn't do, um, I don't think she ever did any cringe shit on stream. Like she normally seemed like a decent chill person. Um, but I think that she tried to like dick suck Hassan super hard. And then she got onto the like, anti-destiny train. And like, especially during that cracker discourse where she started Simon acting says. fucking insane. Um, Obama. <clears throat> Oh, I might have also criticized the fuck out of her too related to the Pokemon drama. That's possible too. But she, if I remember that right, she was super in the wrong there. Um, my recollection is that like, there was basically like a minor disagreement that was basically completely cleared up in DMs. That was my understanding of it. And then 39 Def like exaggerated the fuck out of that situation. Um, and then when Pokey released all the DMs, it was like, oh wait, hold on. 39 Def is just like cloud shark and hardcore here. That's what it felt like. But I would have to, I'd have to go back and review that drama. Okay, potion. Wait, no, 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 don't. I shouldn't have done this in the daytime. I get 30 minutes, I guess. Here's the clip. You're right. No, I don't care. <laughs> Destiny wrong? Was it this? I'd have to go back and check. I'm trying to remember for the, um, what the pokey stuff was. Or I'm not gonna remember it, it's been a long time. It was something about, Daft said something about like Pokey, um, like ignored her or shunned her or something. I think the Lily Albert drama is where I felt you were super unreasonable to others and it didn't look good for you. Oh, I understand that. That's because you're an autistic child with no fucking respect or human decency at all. I will never have a stronger opinion than what I did on that drama. And I don't think anything has ever made me as gross as that drama felt. I, I'll, I will, I don't, if you disagree with me there, I automatically have less respect for you as a human being. <laughs> um, but I, it's all good, it is what it is, I don't care. What was the drama? Uh, basically just that like, 
Lily was going through some pretty horrible shit, and like, um, everybody in OTV, because, fuck, well, I don't want to like shit talk that group of people again. It felt like, at the time, people were a little bit more obsessed with like getting social media clicks than like figuring out like what was going on with Lily or anything with her. Um, and they basically ended up publicizing a whole bunch of shit that probably never needed to be publicized. That, um, was just like really, really, really annoying. It is what it is, dude. Guys, wait, I'm sorry. I, I cut oh, why? old clips of me. Why? I cut my off like three times. Go ahead. Sorry. Maya, go ahead. I was just going to say that I don't think that it's fair to call it lying because Ant genuinely oh. believes that he's helping people and whether or not, you know, there are a lot of skeptics. Okay, never mind. I shouldn't have let her talk. That was a mistake. Wait, I fucked I, up. I, 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 I have a question. Destiny. You <laughs> saw so <laughs> Destiny. It is what. Did I crit this person? Ah, oh, fuck, man. That would have been nice to have. 